Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Like I said in my previous video, I am trying to get back into sketching and finish up the sketchbook. This is actually my last page in the sketchbook, so I'm excited to announce that I will be doing a flip through soon. If you have been a follower of mine for a while, then this is nothing new to you. But I get this question asked a lot, so I want to go ahead and address it, especially since I'm just sketching, sketching away with the pen. Um, this pen that I am using is called a Bolograph ballpoint pen. It is my all-time favorite sketching tool. Uh, I love this particular pen because of the ink. It's not necessarily the barrel that I'm into, it's the ink. The ink is archival, that's what the claim is. Bolograph claims that the ink is archival. Um, and the ink is a drier ink, so I'm not getting any of those like gummy bubbles at the end of the pen. There are times that I do wipe my pen on the rag, but I feel like that's more of a habit than anything. I'm so used to, I've had, I've probably owned a Bolograph ballpoint for maybe a year now, almost a year, and so I'm just so used to wiping the end of it. Uh, but it does start to apply smoother if you do kind of like scrub off the end of it. I don't know. Anyway, um, I love the ballpoint pen because it is it acts almost like a graphite pencil. You can get different tones, the lighter um, and harder you press, and I like the scribble effect. I really like that look, so it just kind of suits my style. These pens, you can find them um, on Amazon, uh, but I recommend looking at them on jet pens. They're just cheaper and just easier. Um, when you do purchase one of these pens, it comes with blue ink. Uh, you have to buy a separate ink cartridge for the black. I have been talking about wanting to sketch more for months um, and I literally had maybe four or five pages left in this sketchbook. This is my very last page in this little field notes. It's a field note size sketchbook and I can finally say that it's complete and I will be doing a flip for you very soon. But um, like I said, I've been really trying to sketch more and I have been trying to figure out how to incorporate that into my daily life because as you know, I have, um, I started making those court covers so my creative uh, energy has been going to other things in my day and um, I want to still obviously continue making those. I absolutely love making those. Every single one, I get finished with it, I stick, an, a notebook in it just to see how well it fits. I sometimes take a picture of it. I just absolutely love making those. But regardless, I still miss like sketching everyday things. Now we're on to painting. Um, I won't say this is my favorite part because I love the ballpoint pen sketch as well, uh, but I do love these paints and I feel like they go really well on the Tomo River paper. I just love everything about um, these products that I'm using. Uh, the paints are by Letter Sparrow. Uh, her and I did a collaboration this summer and this palette is the colors that I chose, but she made the paints and the palette is called New Growth. Um, I have a uh, I guess 
a review on this palette on this channel. I have a paint along on this channel. Um, I can list the playlist for the Letter Sparrow paints in the description box for you if you're interested. This particular palette is not made any longer, but you can still buy her paints individually and make your own. Um, I recommend her paints. She also sells dot cards, which is really cool. I'll have her link in the description box too. Um, but I am just painting this up. I am using my fancy brushes. That's what I like to call them. Uh, they are travel brushes by Escoda. I have two. Um, they're both a size four and one is, an, is called Ultimo and one is called Prado. Um, one acts as a squirreled haired brush. They're both synthetic brushes. I talk about these all the time, but one acts as a squirrel, one acts as Kalinsky. One I use, the one I'm using right now, is for details. And then the other one that's sitting on the pink rag, I use that for backgrounds and washes and fill in lots of color. I love these brushes. Um, and then also, I think I mentioned this, but I'm using Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM. Um, I prefer the 68 but you know, you um, both are beautiful. I just can, I feel like the 68 can take my water obsession way better than the 52. <laughs> so those are the supplies I'm using. I have to say that I absolutely love how this sketch is turning out. I really, really miss sketching everyday items. Uh, just recently, I was reorganizing my bookshelf where I keep all my journals and my sketchbooks. And of course, you thumb through the journals because that's, well, I do, that's what I do. And I gained so much inspiration just by looking at my old journals. In particular, they were my Hobonichi A6 journals. And in those journals, there's a ton of writing. But every day I took the time to draw just a little something. The sketch could be like an inch big. It's tiny, but it was something that happened that day. And I cherished those pages. I did notice that um, as I went through the journal, I kind of stopped sketching and started adding more stickers. Now, by no means is that bad. I just think that for me, I cherish those pages with the sketches and the watercolor on them more than I do the stickers. And so I was thinking about doing that for my next journal. Now I know I just started my Lloyd Sherm pocket, so I have that to finish and I'm not going to stop because I don't stop. I won't stop. I have to finish a journal. Plus, I have other sketchbooks to actually do my sketching in if I need to have that outlet. But I am really thinking about moving um, after my uh, pocket is filled up, moving into a journal that has Tomo River paper so that way I can sketch and draw and I can still use my fountain pens. So, We'll see, because I do have probably at least a month in this little pocket, um, just about how much I'm writing and about how many pages it has. That kind of makes sense. So, But I really do like how this turned out. I miss drawing and sketching, um, and I plan on, like I said, getting back into that. Here is the space that I was talking about with the sketch, so you guys can kind of see um, where I was coming from. It's not exact, but hey, that doesn't matter, just so you know. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see ya.